Hey Libras, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your bi-weekly reading for October 2021. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Let's see what message Spirit has for you, Libra. Cards here for Libra Spirit. What message do you have here for Libra? Okay, guys, so as we go through this reading, if this reading does resonate with you, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload for you again, as always. Okay. And if this message does not resonate with you, you can check the description box. I have the October playlist listed there. You can check your Moon Rising and Venus sign to get further clarification or... Uh, additional messages for October. Okay, you guys. What message do you have here for Libra Spirit? What would you like them to know? Hmm. Okay. So right up front here, Libra, I'm seeing uh, this card has come out for a few few people already which direction here okay and whatever makes you happy that's that's what direction you should go in okay that is like the direction that you should uh travel okay um what makes you happy you have the joy card that's coming into your reading here okay but i feel like um you may be dealing with the situation here libra here in october where you feel some type of rejection or you feel like someone is full of drama, full of conflict here, okay? And your spirit guides want to remind you of your self-worth and what you have to uh, take a look at what you're dealing with and see if it's worth your time and your effort here, okay? Or do you keep sending yourself through a lot of grief, okay? This could be a relationship. It could be a situation going on with your employment or an employer, uh, a friend, a family member here, okay? So they're telling me to start down here and this is where we're going to start okay because i want to talk about something good with you you have joy that is coming in here okay so do what makes you happy that's what i feel here okay the yellow is coming into your reading because they want to uh, illuminate um this energy here they want to put it up front and center uh, in your mind, in your conscious mind here, okay, to let you know that your own self-expression, how you express yourself, how you practice self-worth, um, and knowing your self-worth is what's important here in October, okay, because you may have some, I feel like situations that may be challenging for you, and you may uh, feel like you should extend yourself beyond what you have already done okay so i feel like this yellow is a, a a very vibrant energy okay and it's an energy of you like this woman here with the sunflowers if you feel joy you feel happiness you feel like you are uh floating on air okay just like this card kind of is depicting here uh with the air going up on the sides here okay and the air going through her, her hair so do do what makes you feel good you may be questioning where a situation is going where a relationship is going where a job is going here okay if it's not bringing you happiness if it's not bringing you joy if it feels like a, a big burden on you i feel like your spirit team is really wanting you to really step into your power and uh make a decision on what uh what will make you happy and go towards uh that direction here okay the card is saying which direction it says you have reached a turning point in your life do not be afraid of taking the wrong path here libra when you recognize the learning to be found at every step and and in every moment of your journey you will realize that there is no wrong way only the infinite gain of your personal growth and evolution so let's see what other messages spirit has for you okay. feel like your spirit team definitely wants you to radiate this joy inside of yourself 
you may not be feeling it outside of yourself, but they want you to develop it uh, in an internal way here, okay? And make yourself happy, make your heart happy here, okay? This is a very powerful energy, um, and it really propels you and moves you forward. Be yeah, there's too much stress going on. Possibly a lot of... Um, mind playing or uh someone's playing with your mind here making you guess you don't know where you stand with them here okay you're almost to the end of this this uh mental conflict and confusion that you may be experiencing here okay but i feel like the last push is is up to you okay whether you are going to continue to live in this grief or will you let it go okay you have cruelty here okay so someone's playing some cruel uh, mind games with you possibly it could be a lover here with the six of cups that is coming in you could have felt like uh, a relationship or a connection was going somewhere here but it was really pleasure it was um a pleasant pastime okay that you were experiencing with someone and i feel like it's fleeting that's what that feels like here okay so if you're feeling like you have to constantly check up on someone or check in with someone and uh, fight to get this person's attention and respect and love here, okay? This is not an energy that is healthy. It is not normal, okay? And uh, it's something that needs to be reviewed here, okay? Is this relationship, is this situation bringing you joy? Is it bringing you happiness? Um, or do you need to take a, another look at it, okay? And reevaluate the energy that you're giving here. Yeah, your spirit team is wanting you to definitely... Um, change your mindset and think about this connection with the six of swords energy that's coming in here okay so they're letting me know that um for some of you this is a message that you shouldn't go back to something here some of you have already switched up your direction or taking another course of action or your mindset has changed here and um if you can see this card all of the swords are pointing towards that heart okay the heart that's in the middle of the card here okay and it says science so um you may be dealing with someone that's very intellectual here okay and they're letting you know that you're just as smart you have a choice in whether or not you want to move away from negativity uh false accusations someone not being considerate with their actions or their words here okay there's this need for you to end some conflict or uh negativity here in your life in a relationship that you have here libra okay so you have grief that is coming in and this is what we are talking about so this energy really stuck out to me um and some of you guys with this green in this card you may not feel grounded in this connection and this relationship here okay and there's this need for you to really um look deep at the pain um, that you may be experiencing look deep at the challenges that you are facing in this connection here okay because spirit is saying that this energy does not have to last for you okay if, if you let this conflict if you let this adversity go here okay the sun will shine again better times are ahead of you that's why you have let go gracefully of this grief here this could be past energy resurfacing here or it could be a current situation that you are dealing with with someone or something or, or yeah like a job okay that's what i'm feeling here as well but i feel like it is really surrounding a relationship for a lot of you guys so uh libra your card is saying let go gracefully something in your life is calling for you to let it go let go gracefully however or whatever has taken place in the past it is time to move forward and let letting go will make way for the new whether this is a person a situation an outdated thought or behavior pattern this card uh, comes to assure you that new horizons are waiting for you here okay new experiences new adventure okay a new feeling of joy and happiness is waiting for you here okay i feel like some of you guys may um you may have accepted this for so long that it has become the norm for you and there is some fear of moving forward and leaving people behind here libra but i feel like your spirit team is wanting you uh to take a look at this energy at this situation person 
um, or outdated thinking here or behavior patterns and uh, bring change into your life and <laughs> they're letting you know that you're a rock star okay or some of you guys are dealing with the rock star okay <laughs> sorry I got to say it like that but some of you guys are dealing with the player or a rock star or someone that is um, that will run over your emotions here okay or have very little respect about how you feel okay so this is definitely something that you need to look at here okay yeah you may be dealing with someone or a situation where someone is very emotionally detached and not really worried about how you feel and it's causing you a lot of grief here okay and spirit is wanting you to release yourself from this type of energy here in october or really just put the ball into motion here okay um to start to mend your heart and uh change your mindset about your life and where where you're going here and what you truly want okay you have the nine of wands that's coming in here so uh fortitude this is the word that is on this card with this nine of wands here there's this need for you to protect yourself and protect your energy and what you have created in your life thus far that's what i feel like they're saying and that's also why you have the self self worth card that is showing up in your reading here okay um yeah they're saying look libra this is your throne take your rightful place here okay um i feel like there's this this deep need for uh this uh emotional healing or um deep emotional peace that you need to cultivate or bring into your life okay uh a spirit is saying with the light shining down on this chair that uh you have been given a gift of self-love here you need to exercise it and love yourself and respect yourself and no longer try to prove your value to others here okay uh who may not see it okay so you don't have to prove anything they're wanting you to just rely on yourself and rely on your inner knowing okay that's what this card is uh letting us know and you're reading here and try to avoid gossip and drama don't involve yourself in this and stay away from i feel like they're wanting you to put up healthy boundaries especially with the nine of wands coming in put up healthy boundaries against gossip and dramatic people here okay libra what other messages do you have here for october Okay, you have the hangman that is coming in here, Libra. So there's this deep need for you to take a moment and think about what you want. Really trusting your intuition with the Queen of Wands that's coming in. And the Five of Cups is showing up as well. So you guys are experiencing a lot of sadness or there's this fear of ending a relationship or a connection. But you're questioning, okay? Even if I end it, where do I go next? Well, you go where your heart leads you. Basically, that's what this is saying here, okay? And you have to trust your intuition. Trust yourself at this time that you will do uh, what you choose, the right direction in which, and um, yeah, that you should go. That's what I'm trying to say. Choose the right direction in which you should, should go here, okay? So you have rejection here. So I feel like you guys are giving love or attention or time or effort to someone or something here. And you're feeling this rejection. There's a lot of... Um, confusion with this gray that is coming in here, okay? That's what I'm feeling. Yes. There's a lot of confusion of where you stand with someone. One day they're hot, next day they're cold, okay? But again, this ivory tower, I think that's what they call this card when I read about it, okay? It's an ivory tower here. They're not wanting you to bend over backwards and try to prove yourself to someone okay uh this is about understanding who you are and what you have created where you're going and they want you to choose your life and what you want choose it wisely as you move forward here okay you matter and they want you to practice self-care that's why you have the self-care, self-worth card that is coming in here as well, okay? Your card here is saying self-care is not an act of selfishness. It is an act of consciousness here, okay? Just like this yellow card that's coming in. I talked about your conscious mind and... Um, 
you being able to freely express yourself. I feel like some of you guys may be telling people how you feel and then they get upset because you're expressing yourself here. So this is a, a clear signal that you need to avoid this dramatic type of energy or person or situation here, okay? Um, the card is saying this card invites you to prioritize your own self-care. This may feel selfish to you, but in truth, when you attend to your own needs with love and care, you create an inner wealth that radiates into the world, impacting positively on all that you come into in um, positively on all that you come into contact with here. OK, I feel like it also helps you manifest what you truly want in your life instead of focusing on rejection or focusing on pleasing others so heavily that you forget yourself. OK, practicing self-care can help you manifest uh, happiness and joy and pleasure and favorable outcomes in your life here. OK, you have the hmm, temperance card, I believe. Yeah, I believe this is a temperance card that is coming in here. It is a temperance card, yes. Okay, it just says art on there, but we all see that angel. Same angel on the temperance card here, okay? They want you to practice balance in your life and possibly setting healthy boundaries in your relationships here. Focusing on um, change, focusing on adapting to... Uh, Loving yourself, okay, starting over. If some of you guys need to do that, this could be starting something new that you're passionate about. It could be business. It could be another relationship. It could be moving. It could be... Um, <sighs> Just whatever sparks your uh, your desires here, okay? It's a fresh start for you. This is what they want you to focus on, a fresh start for yourself and healing yourself at this time. With that temperance card that's coming in. Give me one more card here for Libra Spirit. There's a need for balance here. That's what I feel like they're saying. All right, you have the Princess of Wands here. <laughs> so um, definitely the card says Dancer that is coming in here, okay? They want you to focus your energy on what you are passionate about moving forward. Do what makes you happy. Become very confident in yourself that no one shakes that confidence inside of you where you don't have to... Uh, I feel bend over backwards for people here, okay? You no longer need to prove yourself, like I was saying before, okay? Because I feel like you having this self-respect and knowing your self-worth will open up doors for you here, okay? You're actually dancing to the beat of your own drum. That's what I feel like the Princess of Wands is coming in, letting me know here. This will bring in and open up new opportunities and doors for you here, okay? They want you to embrace the new here. That's what I feel like they're saying. And open up yourself uh, to new possibilities here as well okay there may be some fear of the unknown uh here libra but i feel like everything will work out in your favor if you let go of this energy gracefully like this card is saying um and just focus on um cultivating a, a healthy relationship with your own heart okay that is your reading, Libra. I love you guys. Make sure you like the video if it resonated with you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And hit that notification bell, loves. I will see you guys in the next reading. I love you. Bye.